Hi, this is Jessica Mays from Mays Consulting Group, and I'd like to show you how to create a campaign uh, that can loop something that you want to have recur all the time. So I'm inside of Campaign Builder. To save time, I've already created the main thing that you need to set up here. So you can start out by copying this. And as you can see, we've got three goals and two sequences. Okay, so you get your goals over in the toolbox over on the right. You can bring out any goal that you want um, and bring those out. And then, of course, go into your sequences and bring out two sequences. Now, this is how it needs to go. So here's the scenario that I'm demonstrating, that we want to make a phone call every month to a certain contact. So um, if we're on a one-month rotation, that we call and we check in to see how things are going every month. Now, you could make that every week, you could make that every six months, you could make it once a year, whatever you want it to be. But what we're doing is we're just building out the occurrence one time, and then we are looping it so that it happens the following month, day, year, whatever, and so on. Okay. So, Here's what we're doing. We need to start out with a tag. It can be any tag that you want, but you're going to want it to be a tag that is not something that you need to do searches by. And you'll see why in a moment. But you're going to go ahead and come up with a tag. Um, I'm calling this one loop test. Okay. And so when a contact gets that tag, in my case loop test, they come into this sequence. And what we do, this is very important to make this work, we take the tag off. So you see why this can't be a tag that you need to always be on the record because for a, lo a long period of time, it won't be on the record. It's just a tag that exists to make something like this run. Okay, so I'm pulling off loop test. And in this scenario, I'm doing a one month delay. So the, the contact would be added to the, the campaign and they would sit in the sequence for one month. And then at the one month mark, it would roll out the task to me, call. Again, I have this all set up in a test, test environment. Okay, so let's review. The person gets added to the campaign with a tag. That tag is pulled off. They sit for however long they need to sit. And then a task rolls out to the person that needs to do whatever needs to be done. Okay, hop out of here. This is... Um, task completed being used as a goal. So when that call has been made, the person is going to want to mark either on their dashboard or in my day that they've completed the task. Now it's important that whoever's doing these tasks understands that you don't want to trick the system. You don't want to just mark it as complete so that when a test, uh, when a report gets run, it shows you did all your tasks because we are using that task as a, as a verb. So when they mark the task as complete, the contact moves forward. And here's what needs to happen in this sequence. That tag that we took off needs to go back on. Okay. That causes this to come into play. Again, has to be the same tag. And so the tag has gone on the record, so the system says, oh, we have to drop them in a campaign. Voila, they go right back to the beginning. Okay, so the same tag that is in this demo here. It, every time there's an occurrence of a tag, it's the same tag. And you'll notice it's totally to create the loop. It's not to help you segment your list. It's not to help you um, search your database. It is to make this loop run. So it's more of a, um, it's, 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 a cert, it's a tag that helps you build stuff in here. Okay. So um, this is all you have to do. So if you just always follow up with somebody every single month, this is what you could build. And you only have to build it one time. And as long as they're looping, every time you say phone call's been made, they loop around and they go back into queue and wait for it to push out again. So as I wrap up, rather than saying one month do a task and then kind of basically clone this, you know, I don't know, 12 times or something just to indicate, you know, the system for a year, you can just do it once, loop them, and you're good to go.